that seems to be a, a, a pattern um, and no matter what the religion is there's people can take different um, um, ideas from religious texts uh, because some there is some contradictory statements in all, all religious texts it, it just it's just uh, unfortunately it's, it's a, a fact and we see yeah. in, a, in the United States that there's over over history people have used um, the Bible to to um, defend slavery to defend segregation to defend having w women having less rights and it, it, it that's just a facet that happens and for anyone that uses that I think they're purposely just using it as a shield in order to def exactly. to defend what they really want to do which isn't really a religious aspect is it's just they just want to feel more more powerful and so because there's 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 been there's a very um, famous philosopher who I, I will openly say I don't agree with Sam Harris who uses uh, basically says that Islam is evil it's the worst it's been the most violent religion in history and he keeps using these claims without looking into without admitting that this has happened in there's been violence in all religions Christianity is has a huge history of simply bloodshed from the Crusades to murders to witch trials. I mean, all these things were done in the name of the Bible and Christianity. So when yes. so when people argue with you and say that, yes, this is an aspect of Islam when they're talking directly about ISIS, whether they're they're talking about Sharia law, do you how do you how do you try to respond and say that, that yes, but that's not what we should be focusing on. Um, I think it's obvious sometimes I don't really like to argue uh, that Islam is a good religion and these are not representing it because I, I feel that I don't really have to defend my religion because I believe in it in a way that I know it is not like this and if you don't know about that you then you need to educate yourself I am willing to give you some information but if you are not really willing to educate yourself then you are choosing to think in that mentality you are just say being biased because some people they are not ready to hear your explanations because they feel like they have um, they have the rights to think in that way and they can keep their ideas. So sometimes I just propose that um, that Islam is peaceful religion, that we, uh, we, we are, uh, uh, we came to save uh, humanity, Islam came to save humanity from um, ignorance, that, that uh, Islam has the, has the same uh, has requested from people to be faith, to be honest, to be helpful, to be supportive. But if somebody do not listen to me, I don't I really actually feel like I need to tell them more because some people do do feel like it's good that ISIS is here because they are showing the real face of Islam. And since these people are thinking in that way, I feel I, it's a waste of my time and it is disrespect for my belief to talk to them. Because I know what is my religion, and if they want to know, there are many available resources they can search. Um, that is what I feel. Uh, I don't remember the second part of your question was about what. Oh, you uh, you pretty much answered it um, with okay. with everything you said, and that's um, I guess um, I'm uh, moving to a more a little uh, more happy topic and with because okay. ever since. Yeah. Because ever, ever since the EU, um, pretty much Saddam has been out of power. I mean, I mean, yes, we we met through your we met while you were in college, and uh, I remember you also speak Korean, correct? Yes, a little bit. Yes. And so it's like you know, all these. So you've had the ability to do all the all these things, and do you do you feel that you would have ever had the opportunity to? do as much as you had if things hadn't changed in Iraq, or do you feel that you would still have had these opportunities? Actually, the first thing I think of, the first thing I think about when I remember the Saddam Hussein regime, I think, would I have the same opportunities? And the answer is always no, I don't think so. But would I have a peaceful, quiet life? I would. I think I would. 
so what to choose knowledge or satisfaction and a simple life this is the thing that i'm always thinking about because I am now open to many resources, uh, many opportunities, but you know, the more you know, the more you, uh, the harder your life gets, the more problems you are facing. But in Saddam Hussein, I, I remember that my parents were um, really simple. They did not really have many problems. Uh, people were simple, people were laughing, they were enjoying their time because they didn't know what is going on. They didn't know things that they, they, they shouldn't know. Uh, they focused on their life. So every time I think about it, I feel it, it is a choice between satisfaction and simple life and knowledge, what to choose. So I got knowledge, but I'm not really satisfied with my life. So I, I, I actually, I cannot really figure out uh, what would I pick uh, if I had the chance, if I have the chance to pick because... Things went in a way I didn't choose. And, I, and that's kind of how war seemingly is. Was I don't think very many civilians or the populace as a, as a whole usually choose that we should definitely do this and or this military action, yes. um, especially if it's within yes. your, the borders of your own country, because that leads to devastation. Last, I've seen estimates of upwards of a, a million Iraqis civilians have died since the Iraq war began yeah. because of everything that's been going on in the country. Um, so when you think of, when, cause when you, when you consider all the things that you have learned, can, can you go into the direct, um, th the, 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 the direct, um, I guess the direct aspects that you think that you wouldn't have not have had the ability to do under Saddam Hussein that you have learned today? Um, direct. Well, I I wouldn't be, I don't think I would be able to travel. Many people do, couldn't travel during Saddam Hussein, uh, especially if, if you're a girl. After a while, you know, um, many donations came to Iraq and many youth programs. And so um, many countries are now open to us. So we can travel. So I think uh, traveling, um, I think internet access, I don't think he would allow us to have, to get to in the, to get internet because we would know what he did, maybe. Um, I think education wouldn't affect because we had a good education system uh, that back then, and now we have something, I don't know how to compare, but I don't think we have much changed. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a lot to work. Uh, I don't think things would be changed because now I am working for the UN, of, of course, if it is Saddam Hussein uh, regime, I wouldn't be working with the UN, but I would work as a teacher in a school because I have finished my uh, my study in Saddam Hussein uh, time, uh, regime. But when you finish study, you get a job right away. And people ap appreciate that, but now you cannot. So you need to search for other opportunities. Um, so I think I got many great opportunities because we are now open to many different resources. But I think things wouldn't be that much different. 